I'm just taking you guys on a little spin. Um, I hope you guys can see. Where do I go, baby? Where do I go? Just blow the air. It's stupid. Yeah, you can go that way if you want. You can continue. So earlier, there was a serious, serious fire, um, building that caught fire. I don't see it, though. And it looks like by now they probably were successful at putting it out. So, as you can see, they also had the assistance of like an aerial cam and a whole bunch of extra stuff. So, finding out specifically where downtown this fire was, it's really hard to say, but you can, when I was just driving up here, you can still smell the smoke from the building. And uh, my daughter and I kind of were talking about it. We thought that the timing was really weird, really off, something that just simply wasn't cohesive to being normal. And so we started gathering the conclusion that something is up. Well, downtown's open, so... I wonder how in the hell they had this massive serious fire and not ward off people. That's the other interesting factor that it's maybe two, three hours later down the line, you can still smell the smoke from whatever's finishing being cooked up in there. Um, you know, 10 firefighters lost their lives today. Uh, one was, uh, you know, attacked by you know, things that were that exploded in front of him and things just really went south for him. And I think it was that building that was over there. Sorry, you guys can't see it because I got you guys facing forwards. But, um, so we, we just really thought that, and this is kind of one of the re really biggest factors why I wanted to come over here was to in fact see if I could pinpoint where the fire took place if in fact there were still an army of people out there and um, we just literally dead set went through the entire thing not a single soul not one and then I was also mm, hold on is this Bonanza right here? Well, this is what's going on. And so... Bro! What's going on? Move, asshole. Sorry about that, guys. He was stalling traffic and causing a heap of problems, as you've seen. Um, but so... We came to this conclusion that the timing, the fact that it happened to be right around the time when they started doing the phase one and two process to reopen the country, <laughs> you know, just out of freaking nowhere, nobody knew the indefinite cause. Honestly, after so many years of investigations and things like that, and, you know, working, having family that worked closely with the department, I'd say, you know, Things do look a bit fishy. Things don't really add up, you know. Is it arson? Who the hell knows? Um, you know, or is there something that, 
you know, really, really is going on. You can see a lot of police presence over here. Um, but we also thought that somebody might have put, placed a bomb near the building. But the way that the video played out was that the fire was from actually within the building. And um, it was slightly problematic. Um, you know, the, the conclusions that we were putting together. And so at the end of everything, we kind of figured out something had to have been planted from within the building. Only the owners have the key to open these facilities. So there's no plausible way that a citizen of Nevada could have break an entry. I mean, if there were looters, it would have been all over the news. It would, the glass would be shattered and so much more. Um, and so... You know, to wonder what the hell took place, it almost seems, and this is the most plausible thing that I can honestly come up with conjoined with my daughter, is that something was set up, some, there was some kind of bomb in there, um, and, you know, unbeknown forces, and stuff happened, you know, and <gasps> as a result... You know, 10 firefighters had to lose their lives today due to the city's inability to subdue this, this, uh, gosh, what do I call it? Sad outcome. And can anybody point out to me why CPS is driving their freaking cars at God 8 something at night? There are so many messed up things going on right now that unless people, yes, including the homeless that are surviving and still out there, unless we can, you know, join forces and fight this evil, it will just repeat its cycles over and over and over again till we are no longer a country. Um, and so, to conclude this vlog, guys, um, the most plausible thing I can tell you is that the more time goes by, it seems like it was staged. Um, it seems like... Right now, I got you guys with an, an aerial cam. You see people crossing the streets um, and things like that. You can see, obviously, that I'm at a red light. Probably can see even the street name. Um, and that's just it. That is just it. You know, I, I, I haven't really finalized our end up thoughts just because I needed to go and investigate. But I smelt the fire. I know it happened. I know this is what's going on. I don't know if maybe there's still some firefighters that are trying to put the leftover of the fire out. I don't know. I didn't get that close up and personal. But the whole downtown was taken over um, and really kind of subtly... And, um, it was just sad, you know, like, it's a sad day, honestly, like, it's ironic coming from me, you know, knowing that I had people who worked in law enforcement and my family and things like that, and, you know, you would assume that I would care so much about the cops and this and that, but I really don't. They are very corrupt, they are very backwards, and I'm not gonna say that there are not good cops, there are absolutely outstanding ones out there. Who honestly give their all to the department and um, and it's, it's really kind of difficult to put your finger on you know what I mean and um, you know I'm a part of anonymous you know we don't do the politics we don't put do, we don't just do any of that but you know I don't like the corruption I stand firm with my brothers and sisters I think it's wrong they need to be held accountable um, and I don't think that's going on. I think a lot of them are getting away with the stuff that they've been doing. Um, you know, honestly, if you ask me, I'd say that, you know, the firefighters are some of, the few that I have met in the valley, these are some of the most extraordinary, most compassionate, hardworking, uh, men and women dedicated to the community and 
it mind boggles me a bit because you would swear that just because I got people from within that worked in that arena that I would give a shit more about them and I don't and I know it sounds messed up and I should and I probably could and I, I just don't I honestly I've met the fire chief I've met quite a few of the firefighters and they are some of the most heroic people that uh, during my 33 and a half plus years of living here they are the ones who really make this home you know, they are the ones who make Las Vegas, Las Vegas. They are the ones who keep the foundations under calm while things are heating up below. And so I really, really, really appreciate that. And it's sad to me that, you know, now 10 of them lost their lives due to this explosion that, um, you know, took place. And I'm in denial about it. I don't, I, I'm, I'm just absolutely beside myself. And I wish things were different. I, I, and my thoughts and prayers go out to all their sons and daughters and wives and family members. You know, I really hope that you guys can find peace in the moment and know that your loved one has gone on to be with the Lord. And, you know, we'll, we'll go on to do some heroic things up in, in the heavens. Um, but... You know, for now, we're all still, for those of us who are here, it's a sad day. Absolutely sad. And then I was looking at some of the comments of these people watching the blog. And there was this guy who pulled this immigrant card out. And I just lost my mind. I, and I feel, I don't feel bad. But I honestly don't feel remorseful towards that individual just because of the fact that he said, oh, it was probably an illegal to lit the fire. You know, and those were his exact words. And I'm like, excuse me? First of all, it's not about status. This is about 10 people that lost their lives. And I said, I forgot my exact words. I'm like, that just goes to show how cruel you are. And, and it really, it's, it's sad to me, you know, it shouldn't be that way. People really shouldn't put politics in a portrait and expect the world to go and bow down to them. You see what I'm saying? You know, people just got to live frill, freely and, you know, have an open mind and be, dis, dispo, be disposable to new ideas and new people and, you know, new ideas that are new, etc. And I don't know. It's just, it's really a sad day, honestly, for me. And, and these guys and women who serve, they're so incredibly loving and compassionate. They're, they go out to be great fathers and mothers. You know, I've seen it firsthand for myself. And it's just, it's just sad, man. You know, and how little respect goes for the firefighters, but everybody hails the police department as if they were some kind of gods. It's, it's really kind of disgusting and sad. This is why I'm glad that I'm a part of Anonymous, because we can throw all the politics and all the bullshit aside. And at the end of the day, we just can look at things through a clearer lens and just really put it into that much more perspective for people out there in the real world. And perhaps for those who don't know what's really going on. But anyways, Grizzly fam, I just got back to my stomping woods. So I am going to let you guys go. Bye.